To solve this quadratic equation, let's use the technique of completing the square. Let's walk through the process. First, ensure the quadratic equation is written in standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. As you can see, this quadratic equation is in standard form. So let's fill in the values for a, b, and c. a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 12, and c is equal to negative 6. Because a is equal to 1, we'll just be working with the values for b and c. So starting with the value for b, the negative 12, we rewrite it as 2 times another number. Negative 12 can be rewritten as 2 times negative 6. We then take the same negative 6 and we square it. Negative 6 squared. But you just can't add a number to one side of the equation without changing the equation. So therefore we also have to subtract this negative 6 squared. So we have the plus negative 6 squared and the minus negative 6 squared and they don't change the value of the equation. And then continuing with the value for c, we write negative 6 here. This expression can be rewritten as a linear term squared. So this can be rewritten as x plus negative 6, the entire quantity squared, plus negative 6 minus negative 6 squared, so negative 6 squared is 36, so negative 6 minus 36 is minus 42. We can simplify this equation by moving the negative 42 from the left side of the equation to the right, so we get x plus negative 6 quantity squared equals positive 42. Taking the square root of both sides of the equation, we get x plus negative 6 is equal to the square root of 42. And now we can solve for x and find the roots of this equation. Since we have a negative 6 on the left side, solving for x, we get x equals positive 6 plus or minus the square root of 42. 